Hi guys, my name is Shurjit De and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrix De. Today we are going to study class 8 mathematics. So without wasting further time, let's start the class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. So students, today we are going to study class 8 mathematics and we are going to study chapter 14, mensuration. So let me write the chapter's name, chapter 14, mensuration. So in this chapter, this is a very big chapter, we will learn step by step, okay. In this chapter, first of all, we must recall, okay, what we have learned in class 7, okay. Like in class 7, you have studied two dimensional figures, okay. And in class 8, you will study three dimensional, okay. So, in class uh, 7, you have studied, suppose, number 1, if I draw the diagram or the figure, so this is what? This is a rectangle, okay? This is a rectangle, okay? Now, in this rectangle, if I give a name, okay, A, B, C, D, okay? This is a rectangle. So, the, this big one is called length L and the small side is called breadth, okay. Now, in this rectangle, we have some formulas, okay. The first formula is what, okay, perimeter, perimeter of rectangle. Okay. We can find out without putting the formula also the perimeter. How? AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. But we will use formula. Okay. So, what is the formula? 2 into length plus breadth unit. So, this is the formula of finding out or how to find out the perimeter of a rectangle okay then the second formula is area area of rectangle okay and what is the formula it is length into breadth unit square okay length into breadth unit square and there is one more formula third one diagonal diagonal of a rectangle now which one is diagonal of a rectangle na from a point to c point this is the diagonal of a rectangle again from b point to d point this is the diagonal both the diagonals are same equal okay so what is the formula so this is length this is breadth so, the formula is root over length square plus breadth square unit, clear? So, these three formulas you must know before we proceed further, okay? Because when we are going to solve the exercise sums, these three formulas are needed, okay? After this, we are going to understand another one that is square, okay? Another figure, square. Square means all the four sides are equal. So, I will draw one square. The four sides are equal, clear? Now, here also for square also, we need to know the formulas, okay? First formula, okay? If you have your pen and your notebook, write it down, pause the video, write, again watch the video, 
again pause it, write it down. Okay. So, now first is perimeter. Perimeter of a square. So, what is the formula? The formula is 4 into site unit. Clear? Next, number 2, area. Area of a square. So, area of a square is what? Side square, unit square. Clear? Then, third one, again same way, diagonal. So, this is one diagonal, this is one diagonal. You can name it also P, Q, R, S. Okay? And both the diagonals of a square are same, equal. Okay? Now, diagonal diagonal of a square. Clear? Now, what is the formula? Like for rectangle, what we did? We did here length square plus breadth square. Now, here both length and breadth are same only. So, here if I write length square, then breadth is also length. So, what you get? 2 length square. So, now only length will come out. So, root 2 into length. So, the formula will become what? Root over 2 into side unit. Clear? Now, uh, when you are solving okay, or when you are learning these formulas, one thing might confuse you. Okay? What? Now, you can see in, uh, in the book, maybe it may be written as instead of 4 into side, it may be written as like 4a. Okay? Then here it may be written as a square. Okay? And in diagonal of a square, it may be written as root 2 into a. So, what is this A? Why I am writing A? A is nothing but the side. The side is expressed as A unit. Suppose this side is A, this is also A, this is also A, this is also A. Okay? So, instead of writing side, they are writing 4A. Okay? Means, for instead of side, they are writing A. So, 4A. So, this one will be A square and this is root 2A. So, do not get confused. Okay? Now, why we are learning these formulas? These formulas will be helpful to you once I start the exercise sums. Okay? If you like my channel, then please give a like, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe it. And press the all notification bell so that whenever I upload such videos, then you will get the notifications first. Okay. Now, let us come back. Number 3, circle. Okay. So, in your previous class, class 7, you studied about circle. Now, if I want to draw one circle, so this is the circle. Okay. And a circle always has a center. Without center, you cannot draw. So, center name I will give O. Clear no? Now, this is the boundary and boundary I told what? It is known as perimeter. Boundary is known as perimeter. Okay? In class 7, you had a chapter perimeter and area. Okay? But in circle, this perimeter is specifically known as circumference. We say circumference also circumference. Clear? Circumference. And suppose we uh, want to uh, make fence and we want to give fencing okay, in the boundary. So, fencing will be done on the boundary only like this way. 
So, that time you have to find out the circumference or the perimeter of the circle. Okay. And suppose you want to uh, uh, construct one house. So, house you cannot construct on the circumference, you have to construct inside this portion you have to construct and this portion is only known as the area. Clear? Understood or no? Now, first formula, circumference circumference of a circle. So, what is the formula of circumference of a circle? 2 pi r unit. So, this is the formula. Okay. Then second one, area, area of a circle. So, area of a circle, what is the formula? The formula is pi r square unit square. Clear? After that, we must know one more thing, the value of pi. Okay? Pi value is how much? So, pi is 22 by 7. This is expressed in fraction or in decimal, I will say 3.14. So, this value also you must know. Okay? I think up to this much it is clear. Okay? So, square, rectangle, then circle. Clear or no? Okay? So, there are many formulas in this chapter. So, all the formulas we cannot cover in this part 1. We will cover it in the next part that is part 2. So, what you do? After you have already you got eight formulas for square, rectangle as well as circle. So you learn those formulas, try to draw it and write. Okay. So thank you for watching my video. Keep smiling. Take care. Bye bye.